You see, God, God has a, a, a very rich history of revealing himself and making himself known in the context of community. Listen, you, you beware. You beware of individuals because what, what Jesus is making very clear here, and the reason John is emphasizing this, you, you can't miss it. Jesus is very anti-individualistic. Jesus is anti-privatized faith. Jesus is, is anti-mystical religion. The things that God has given to you, some unique insight, some spiritual insight, that he has not yet given to the rest of us. No, God reveals himself in the context of community. You beware of those individuals that claim God has told them something unique that he has not yet revealed to the rest of us as the community, as the body of Christ. Belief and faith is developed always, always in the context of community. That's how faith is, is nurtured. That's how our faith grows. That's how our faith develops. That's how we keep one another in check. Instead of getting off on these aberrant theological pursuits that make you think somehow God has given you an insight he hasn't given to the rest of us, God reveals himself as Jesus has done in the context of community, not privatized religion, not individualistic kind of faith, not a mystical kind of faith. In fact, it is the fulfillment of what Jesus would say and, and what John would say in his prologue in chapter one in verse 14, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us, us, community. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us, not something mystical that He became a ghost and appeared to some in secret places. No, God has revealed Himself in history in a very profound way. He has made Himself known in the context of the community of His people.